Anna, let's go now. We don't have time more. Where's my phone? Um, I packed this and it should be enough for us. Since you've already eaten something. Are you sure? I've told you several that bread and tea is not food. Huh? How exactly is bread and tea not food? <laughs> bread is a very solid food. Madam, bread is a snack. Uh -uh. Oh, why, why are you doing this to me, man? Okay, <laughs> God. So we are going to argue about bread and tea this, this time. I don't understand. Anyway, hi Zoe. I'm sure you should still be sleeping in her hotel room. Where's the cat? Hotel room? Yes, hotel room. Or Gavin's place? Gavin's place. No. Zoe doesn't come up as that kind of girl that would do one night stand. She can't do it, Jared, so... Do you realize they were drunk yesterday? Where's my car key? You just calm down, eh? And even if they were drunk, it's, I know it's a fair point, but... Uh, um, Zoe can't stand Gavin when she's sober. So I just really hope nothing happens. Okay, if you say so. But I don't think Gavin is a bad guy anyway. You don't think Gavin is a bad guy? Yes. Why are you trying to Why are you trying to defend him? A guy that sleeps with different girls every weekend and he does not even recognize anyone. He is bad. He is bad. Ouch. People change. People don't change. That guy is far gone. Right, back I poor. I've heard you. Let us go. Let us go. Are you sure we're not forgetting anything? I'm forgetting my phone. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let us go. Ah. Let us go. Let us go. Chidi! Ah. Chidi! Ah. Ah. Chidi! This guy will put me in trouble in this house. Chidi! Ah. My brother, where have you been? Ah, I... My brother, let's go. Because they are going to Carry this bag, carry this bag. Let's go. Let's go. And I do not cuddle up after one night stands. So this was a one night stand? Of course, I barely even know you. Well, it's not like I won't have anything to do with you, but like... Oh, your heart, like it scared us. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Baby girl, just accept it. You have fun. Oh we have fun, gosh. okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> Can you turn around with me? For what? I need to get dressed. <laughs> I don't understand. Are you serious? We were just naked about some hours ago. <sighs> Stick 
dents. What was the reason? Um, insults. Your great personality. I feel I'm feeling hungry so far. I think that last time we were traveling, you cook soup and put inside the bread. Why? 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 Did we not eat something in the house? We I mean, ate at home before we left. This, this, this journey, this journey, this journey is supposed to just be one hour, one hour. Ah. Some people put you down that one hour. At least we have Friday even if it's talking. Hey, hey, Uncle, you're believing. So <laughs> why, why, did you, why did you not wake up early to Friday talk even if it's talking? Ah, uh, we wake up early and we Friday will eat. Too. I literally just saw it some seconds ago. What is she hiding? She saw mine, I saw hers. This way. And then this kind of song, now this one has more reading. If you, want, if you want to do it on Twitter, this kind of song, you do it like Santi. So <laughs> right? Do this is a case, please! This is what is giving us problems. I mean, it's a case! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I too much, yo! Oh. Are people still living in all these kind of places? Mm, yeah, they're are you sure it's safe to be here? You want to pee pee too? Don't mind him when I. Hey! Oh boy! My lovely wife. Uh, your phone is drinking. Who is that? Gavin. Oh, speak up, please. <laughs> Is there ever a time Amaka is not listening to our conversations? Depends on her location. <laughs> so are you guys still at um, yours or you're still in her room? We're in a spare room at yours. I should be leaving now before things get awkward. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! We already traveled though and we left with our keys. Are you being serious? Yes now. Well you guys should enjoy the awkwardness and please make sure you cook something for my friend to eat. Nah, this is a big setup. Bye, 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 we're driving. <laughs> I can't oh just imagine. God. It's how they are forming scenes for me. After the deal has already been done, they are still forming as if nothing happened. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what, 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 why are you having an opinion in this conversation? Why who you invited you, who invited this, you? Into this, into this conversation? You put the call on us because it's one, two, three people and here. And so, we don't need your opinion. Well, I'm, I'm sure I don't know, sir, what Joe will call that. you very soon now. <laughs> me, hey. I will first and call her because I need, I need to hear from her. Hey. I need me, to hear me, from me, her. Me, I'm hungry. Can we look for somewhere we can just look for something to eat, please? I beg you, let's go. That's how I will die. If I do it now, I'm not die. Let's not people to die. Me, me, I want food. I want food. I want food. I want food. Hey, hey, Amaka, we had sex and we cuddled. You can't keep beating yourself for it. <laughs> it happened already, babes. Move on. I know, right? <sighs> and you were pretty wasted. Yeah, I wish I wasn't. I mean, it's a good thing you were. Blame it on the alcohol and move on. Oh, that's not a comforting thing to say, but okay. Have you left for the wedding yet? Mm, yes, we're on our way. Okay. 
Um, I'm just gonna get my things and leave. Yeah. Tell me you're joking. What did you say? Are you sure? What was that? Are you sure? I was saying, Amaka, so you mean I'm stuck in this house with this unapologetic narcissist? If I'm poisoned, you know who to hold. Let me just tell you. Right. Bye. What would you like for this? Hmm? Zoe, right? Right. You're not going to have a repeat of what happened last night. Now, what would you like for breakfast? <laughs> um, ew. Who's thinking about that? Excuse me. Breakfast. What do you have? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> this wedding is going to be tough. As in, very tough. Hey! Why would I be dancing to this kind of song? So change the song. I've always been saying, let them change this song. No. If you open your mouth, if you open that mouth in this guy again, hey! House cook. Um, was born into a family of chefs. Chefs. Are they following me? Oops, sorry. What was that? Do you have a problem with that? I just have like a history with chefs. What is your history with chefs? So the first guy I dated was a chef. Um, we both applied for school in Dubai. He got in, I didn't. And so, like, we kept trying to get me in, but it wasn't working. And so, three months after he settled down in Dubai, he started posting up his new girlfriend on social media. Must have hurt. Yeah, it sucked. But yeah, I moved on. When I got into school, I met Amaka. I was single until like my final year. And then I met another chef. Interesting. Yeah. So? You're just here for the gist, aren't you? So, he wined and dined me, made me delicious meals, gave me great massages. We had great sex. This was all after like a month of flowers and calls and texts all night, blah, 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 blah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Mm. And so he ghosts me and then he posts the picture of me and the meal he made for me on social media and captions it a client. The caption, what was the caption again? A satisfied client. Damn. That was it. And then after that, he posted other girls with the same caption. Oh, mind you, I got to find out that this was a married man with kids. Cold. Yeah, just my luck. <sighs> Typical chef moves. Typical chef moves? Yeah, you never learn. Okay. Right. Thank you.
He's a chef, Amaka. Another chef. He's a baby girl, easy. <sighs> you should have said something. Uh, babe, babe, just calm down. See, I didn't think it was necessary to reach out to you guys. Because I know for one that you don't do one night stands and Gavin does not do relationships. So I didn't even see things playing out like this. Can you stop assuming? Stop assuming this woman. Mama, just calm down, okay? Just breathe, okay? Just breathe and calm down. I promise you that Jemima is going to be back anytime soon. Jemima? I heard Jemima telling her friends that they are going to um, shop, you know. Will you shut up your mouth? My friend, will you shut up? Is he for real? No, 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 no. Don't mind Chidi. Chidi is very loud mouthed. So I'm you telling you, why are you lying to your friend? I, I know what I'm saying. Jemima told her friends that he's going shopping. I know what I'm saying. Don't listen to him, okay? Jemima will be back very soon. I assure you. I promise you. Oh, please, she needs to hurry up, okay? It's getting hot in here. Gosh. <laughs> okay. Yes, let's all right. Go, let's go. All right then. Bye. Wait, 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 please. I want to move. I need to move, please. I want to move. I really want to move, please. What is wrong with this boy? When he was eating all these things he was eating, didn't you know he was going to pull? I've had it up to here. I think at this point. This boy needs to get back home. I support you. We are putting him in the bus to get back home. I support you. Shabby, he is he is with Aki. Yes, he is. You should come to the kitchen. I'm not sure what quantity will be enough for you. This is so good, like, I couldn't if I tried. You can, if you learn to. Mmm, yeah, I wish. Stop wishing, just do it. Not everyone enjoys cooking. You know that, right? Mmm, but you need it to survive. Mmm, life's been made easier. You could just order and they'll deliver. Fair point. But it's still a basic, attractive skill. Hmm. I see why male chefs don't mind being objectified. Mm, we didn't ask for it. But you welcome it. <laughs> so, how often do you cook? Um, every morning. Mm, every morning. So, uh, what do you make every morning? Well, I start my day off with my green tea. Green tea? Mm -hmm. mm, good, good. Um, is there any special procedure or it's just a tea bag? Oh, just a bag. And you call that cooking? What do you call that? <clears throat> Look, you need help. Okay, and I can help you only if you promise not to fall in love with me. Your ego is the most irritating thing about you because I don't even find you attractive, Gar. Are, okay? you are you sure? Because you told me earlier that you have a thing for chefs. In fact, you mentioned that you have a history with chefs. <laughs> mm. I don't have a thing for chefs. I just, you know, we meet and we get along and then eventually I find out they're chefs. It's not like I'm out there with a torchlight looking for chefs. No, lies. Lies? Yes, they cooked for you. <laughs> You loved the meals. You found an escape plan from cooking and you fell for them because male chefs are the most absolute romantic. Oh my days, it sounds like you guys have a routine you all follow. No, we don't. We just do our thing, okay? I, I don't even go extra for any woman, okay? Yeah. So how do you get the girls? I just do my thing. I go to the club, they see me, they get attracted to me, They hook up with me and the rest is history. That's worse. What do you mean that's worse? <laughs> I'm not trying to impress anybody. And if I have to go an extra mile for somebody, the person has to be worth it. Which is never, I'm guessing. Yeah, that happened before, but it was bad. Do you want to share? <clears throat> A heart-to-heart -heart conversation after cuddling? <laughs> no, hard pass. <laughs> Look, like there's nothing else to do. You're the only one here to talk to. It's not like I'm attracted to you, Garth, okay? Relax. Ooh. Oh, a nickname already. Oh, come on. It's really cute, but it's too soon. 
You're so annoying. Thank you. It's a compliment. So, how long before you finish it? Eh? What is this pressure? Can you let me breathe? <laughs> sure. Take your time. Just do the dishes when you're done. Why? You have to do something. I'm not trying to impress you. <sighs> and I hope you can finish that because there's a reason why I asked what portion will be enough for you. What are you going to do about it? We'll see. Um, hi. What's up? Do you have your charger here? Nope. <sighs> wow. What? My phone is dead. Okay, good for you. Watch TV. When is your mama coming back? I have no idea. My phone is switched off. Okay. You watch Grownish? Yeah. I enjoy seeing the chaotic lives of young adults. <laughs> it's comedy to me to see them flourish in that level of insane stupidity. But they're just trying to figure life out. By making the same mistake. Their reasons are justifiable, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Justify why two very good looking men are simping over an indecisive woman. Mm, firstly, there's no such thing as simping. Like you'll be able to handle a simp. I am a simp. No wonder you kept getting dumped. Okay, I know I'm broken, but who broke you? I'm fine, thank you. Just a lesson learned. You, my good sir, are damaged. No, I became more reasonable and successful. Reasonably misogynistic. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that. Your gender deserves everything that is coming to them. So everyone has to pay for the crime of one? Yeah. Hmm. Until we're all broken. You know, I would get mad, but it would be like a waste of my time. Because like, you know, there's no point. You need help. Zoe? Yeah? You need help. Oh. Hi. Good morning to the both of you. Morning, Jemima. Wait, have you been in the house the whole time? Apparently. Does anybody have any painkillers? My head hurts. Wait, you came from upstairs just to ask us that? Wait, Seth. What are you doing here? You never stay here this long. Wait, PM or AM? It's afternoon. It's afternoon. Yeah, um, let's go drink water, shower and come down for breakfast. Well, big bro made breakfast. I guess today has to be good. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And um, please bring the house keys when you're coming back down. Thank you. All right. You're the best. Oh, finally. Mm. So you don't enjoy spending time with me? Uh, you drain me. <laughs> I tell you the truth. No, the truth is subjective. I don't like yours. We'll see. You should go pack my things. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just going to leave without taking a shower?
I don't get how someone can be this confused. It's unhealthy even for those around her. Who are you talking about? Zoe. Oh, right. You know, I, I think you can be in love with more than one person at a time. Although it's an unfair situation, but yeah. Is your heart a memory card? When you love someone, you lock your heart completely. You shouldn't find yourself entertaining such. Well, I don't condone such behavior, but the heart wants what it wants. You all keep forgetting that the heart can learn to be disciplined. And how long did it take you to master the art? It's never been a problem for me and it will never be a problem. Well, it's never been a problem for me too. I just, you know, I try to choose the right person until that becomes the wrong person anyway. But then I've learned that when you're with someone, you know, you still meet people, people that are more attractive, more fun, more everything basically. So you just have to consciously choose the person you're with every day. First reasonable thing you've said since we started talking. So, Brother Garvin, you finally found love. Hmm? Hmm? We both know you never have conversations this intense with random people. Your point exactly? Well, you're pretty up close and personal. I kind of think you like Zoe. What kind of silly conclusion is that? Um, Jemima, I'm right here. Come on, Zoe. You also like him. You guys are not so great at pretending. You should probably enroll into acting school. <laughs> Okay, you're not making sense anymore. I feel like you're still hungover, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not denying being hungover, but I'm also not denying everything I'm seeing. Right. Where, where are the keys, anyway? I don't have it. What do you mean by I don't have it? Well, I don't. Um, well, care to explain? I'm lost. I, what do you mean you don't? Well, it's a lot of unsure explanation, but fine, let me go. Go. So, yesterday at my friend's party, we got really high and I was tired and I wanted to sleep. The plan was to stay over at her place, but I had to share the room with some strangers. And even though I was high, there was no way I could ever agree to that. Okay, good uh, decision, keep going. So, my ex was at the party, he offered me a lift home and I agreed. Um, Jemima, I haven't heard anything about the keys yet. So, I got home, I opened the doors, and I realized you guys got back already. So, I didn't have to use my keys because the door wasn't locked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I hugged and kissed my ex goodbye. I came inside and got a good sleep. Okay. Well, so, after I went to shower and all, I came back with my head all cleared. And I figured I didn't come back with my bag. Which is where the keys are. Uh-huh. Yeah, the keys, my phone, and everything in between. So, it, you're saying that we're stuck here till the manual returns? Apparently. Mm, my phone, dead. Great. Well, me too. That makes three of us. We can make it fun. <laughs> you two can make it fun for each other. Come on, brother Garvin, it's not that deep. Um, okay, at this point, I I think I need to take a shower. Do you have anything that can fit me? Like I have a choice. You actually do. Well, thank you. Anything to make up for my carelessness. Or should we, when you're done eating? I know, let's go to my room. Okay. Then you look into my eyes and tell me what is on my mind? If you have no answer to respond to me, oh, <clears throat> you cannot judge me now. You look better. Thank you. This was the only thing that fit, so... Oh, shit. My phone just went off. Well, that makes both of us. Okay, I should take a nap. All right. 
What are you going to be doing? Um, I don't know, watch TV maybe. Hmm. Yeah. You should sleep too, to help you feel better. Besides, we're going to be here for three days, so... Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? In each other's space. Breathing the same air. Yeah, I think I'll pass. I'll just rather be with Jemima, right? <laughs> she might not say anything, but that will be you inconveniencing her. How? She doesn't like to have people around. Really? Do I have a red nose? No. Exactly. I'm not a joker. That was just to prove that. What else am I supposed to? Okay, funny guy. <laughs> mm, come on, just come to bed. I'm not trying to have sex with you. <sighs> okay. I'm not trying to have sex with you either, so. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, this guy is unavailable. Okay? I don't care. Oh. Yeah, right. <sighs> <sighs> Hmm. Creepy stalker. What? Even in my sleep, I could feel your eyes on my skin. I wasn't staring at you, okay? Yeah. So, what were you doing? I was booting. I clearly just woke up. Booting? With your gaze fixed on my face. Very interesting. I was staring at a spot. That's where my eyes opened when I woke up from sleep. Not like I was intentionally staring at you. Oh, you're such a terrible liar. But whatever you say, baby girl. Hmm? Whatever you say. Okay. I'm hungry. Okay. Go fix yourself something to eat. Are you serious? Amaka said you'd take care of me, so what are you saying? She only said breakfast. That was before she knew we're going to spend three days together. It's not that bad if you ask me. How come you're fine with the idea all of a sudden? I'm not fine with the idea. I'm just trying to stay positive about this. Or maybe you're starting to like me? <laughs> Look, I agree that you're a very beautiful lady, but that's just it. Okay, that's it. So, you're not sexually attracted to me? 
Look, if you think you're going to get another round of this, you're not going to get a repeat of what happened last night. Okay, so move on. Your pride smells mm. like... I know my worth. It ends in the kitchen. <laughs> you know that, right? I thought that was a woman's thing. <laughs> Hello, Earth to Garvin. We might have forgotten you in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> you know, your woke generation have misplaced priorities and it saddens me. Okay, says the man with his priority straight who sleeps with a different woman every Friday night. <sighs> you know, your woke generation have misplaced priorities and it saddens me. Says the man who has his priorities straight but still sleeps with different women every Friday. <laughs> Even in the 80s, men had the liberty to do so. And it's not like any of these women were forced oh or anything. Oh my gosh. Do you not worry about your body? People are sick out there. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm extra picky. I do not have sex with 60% of these girls. I'm very big on protection, except I'm into you. Sex is just a mere sport for me. Two bodies intertwined and you're calling it just a mere sport? I make sure I stick to the rules to manage the intertwining of our bodies. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, it's not supposed to make sense to you. I'm the one having the sex, remember? You know what? We've deviated from the point. I'm hungry. And you cannot cook. What will you do without me? Survive? I highly doubt that. You're too proud. That's the problem. Well, I worked hard for that position. Yeah, bragging rights, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you make for everyone? No, for myself alone. Oh. I'm dodgy brother Gavin's bad mouth today. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. The truth hurts. No, you're just mean sometimes. I'm starving. <laughs> brother Garvin, your crush and your baby sister are hungry. I thought you said you just ate. Um, yeah, but I didn't say I was full. Well, Zoe is making lunch for us. Ah. Uh, Why ah? Uh? What do you mean by ah? Uh, like... Brother Garvin, we've not had her food before. Can we risk this? He's just joking. He knows I can't cook. Will you cook for us then? Question is directed to you. Oh. Yeah, roughly. Five and six. <laughs> What is with women and hating the kitchen these days? Um, our mothers and grandmothers did all the cooking for us already. Especially the ones that cooked fresh food for large family members. Mm. And yeah. 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 I love cooking, but that must have been exhausting. Trust me. Yeah. It exhausted all the way to our generation. <laughs> Okay, so. So, you're cooking? Mm mm. Are you? No. No. Let's go. The chef's definitely cooking for us. What? <laughs> you wish. <sighs> so, Amaka always has cooked food stored in the house. We we'll just take one, melt it, and microwave. I thought you wanted to make fresh food. <laughs> no, not for you, Zoe. Why? There's more attached to that. To you, but to me, you're just cooking food for us to eat. We're stuck in this house together. What are you saying? I really wish I could interpret it like that. <sighs> what happened to you? Like, what's the reason behind all this? A lot. A lot happened to me. You want to share? You know what? 
Why don't you get busy with this while I prepare the swallow? You know, if you don't like me like you claim you do, it shouldn't be a problem sharing with me. Well, in my opinion, that's what I think. Say more, Eva. I eat both, so whatever works. Great. Yeah. Perfect. Get started with this. Gems. Food is ready. What food, please? Eba and vegetable. Why? But I got to do cook again. Yeah, he changed his mind. Because of you, yeah? How do you know that? It's been over 12 years. How long does it take people to get over stuff? Get over what? He didn't tell you. I figured he won't. Okay. Let's go. choke or not. You were going to make dinner. Why didn't you? I changed my mind. Why did you change your mind? Because I wanted to. Are you lying to me right now? I'm not lying to you. Well, why didn't you? I don't feel like it. I'm not sorry, Brother Gavin. I have known you all my life. Why did you not cook? <sighs> because I was craving amaka soup. You don't even fancy amaka's cooking. Well, why are you lying? Now I do. No, you don't. You're so scared. You've been so scared you don't even recognize your fears anymore. Jemima, I'm trying to eat. Please. Look, Brother Gar, how can you be so scared to fail? Does it even make any sense? I am 20, Brother Gav, and you are 10 years older than I am. I have been cheated on, gotten my heart broke, but that didn't stop me from opening my heart to love. Four years in the university was a roller coaster of emotions for me. But I kill, go through it, and then I'm back at it again. Making the same mistake. Smart. Keep calling everything you don't mind. You will never truly experience what it means to feel. Well, I don't want to feel. Yeah. One bad time. One bad time is deciding your whole life right now. How many cooking contests did you fail before you bagged those many awards? A lot, but that's a different analogy. Don't tell me that nonsense. It's not different. But did that stop you from trying? <clears throat> Look, I'm not saying you should be going around looking for love like some aimless fool. But don't push it away when it comes to you. It's been six years since I saw you have a proper conversation with somebody you're not working with or someone you don't consider family. And it doesn't even have to lead to a romantic relationship. So you got hurt and so what? We all are. I'm sure there's some 16-year-old going through heartbreak. But at this point, you need to grow up. There's a board game in the table for you guys when you're done. Mm. 
I'm, I'm sorry. For? For being a jerk. Well, you being more than a jerk. But yeah, I appreciate you being real. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not sure where Jemima gets her guts from. It's giving old soul. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Would I find that idiot that cheated on her? He's going to visit the hospital after our meeting. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. No, for real. You don't mess with my sister like that. Well, hate to break the news to you, but we don't go through it, Garvin. <clears throat> yeah, but not Jemima. Sadly, including Jemima. Maybe I hate the truth. Are you okay? Yeah. Does your head hurt? No. Do I look sick? You don't feel like feverish or... Did you hit your head somewhere? Why? Do I look sick? No, because like you just admitted to a wrong, so like I was just checking if you're okay. <laughs> you're sick. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So, do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? How you got your heart broken. It's a long story. Well, looks like we have all the time. There was this girl in uni in my first year. I think I was 17. I really liked her. You know, I would go out of my way to cook for her, make special meals for her. Hell, I'll, I'll buy food stuff with my last card just to cook and impress her. She would eat, you know, I will even offer her my portion. Sometimes she, she goes home with, uh, you know, like a takeaway. And then one day I saw her in school, out of excitement, I ran to her. She was with this guy she claimed was her best friend. And when he saw me, he was like, Babe, who is this? Babe, who is this? Yeah. <clears throat> she said, Oh, this is, uh, this is my friend, the one that cooks for us. Yeah. Wow. It was horrible. It was the most embarrassing day of my life. Oh, she did you dirty. Yeah, she did. And she had the guts to keep calling me. So what did you do? I blocked her. I don't want to repeat the same mistake twice. <sighs> wow. I'm sorry you went through all that. So now your opinions make sense. You're actually a pretty good guy. You're not so bad. Well... Like Jemima said, grow up. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. Right, uh, Jemima said there's games, right? Oh yeah, I, I don't play board games. I'm more of a computer game person. Well, I do both. Okay. I have keys to the game room. But you don't have keys to the door. I'm kind of happy I don't. <sighs> Why? It's nice to meet someone that challenges my person. Uh-oh. Look who's confessing first. Okay, don't be too cocky. Oh. Okay, I'm just trying to build a platonic friendship here. Right, I see. Yes. So, um, board games or what games? Yeah, Jemima cannot stand computer games. And I don't like board games. 
You know what? I think we should just go to Jemima and figure out what to play. Okay. Right. Actually, done here. Can you look yeah. into my eyes? <laughs> right? We should play truth or dare. No. Yes. No. no. Yes. No. I'll be right back. Mm. You don't listen. That's why I'm your sister. We're going clockwise, so I'm starting first. Oh, I've never seen this before. Okay. Yeah. So, for the carving, shoot or dare? Ah, <sighs> dare. I dare you to give Zoe a lap dance. Don't make him do that. No, he's gonna do that. Mm hmm. <sighs> well, you all know I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Could you lean back, please? Oh, oh. Yeah. There. Oh, wow. Can you look into my eyes and tell me? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Be serious. Can I get a drink, please? This is chaotic. She said she wants a drink. I was about to give her the best laugh dance ever. Okay, okay. What was that? It's okay. No, it's okay. Just drink up. Drink up. Drink up. It's okay. Jeez. <clears throat> that was scary. What? <laughs> that was scary. Look, this is not regular. Please give her the shot. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay. Go, Zoe. It's not that bad. Ooh. There. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Your oh, don't worry, we're next? getting to your turn. Uh -huh. You know if it's bad or not. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Um. Yeah. You, this girl. What do you want to see? I just want to see two people dancing. So, come on. On your feet. Don't worry, I'll play There's good, good music. music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She has answers to everything. <sighs> Put your back into it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> we can just... Mm -hmm. Right, time is up, right? Uh-huh. Are you happy? Okay. I'm happy. I'm um, moving on. Okay, my turn. Zoe? Zoe? Yeah, okay, yeah, Truth Zoe. Truth or day? Um, truth. Okay. Then I guess I'll be drinking. Are you serious? There's no way. Who's there? Nathan. Nathan, what are you doing here? You left your bag in my car. Thank goodness, the key to the house is in that bag. Oh. oh I'm here in my bag. Try opening the door from outside. The key is right in my bag. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, this drink is running through me. Right. Let me have that. Brother Garf, Zoe, Nathan, the ex. Nathan, meet my older brother and his lover. Uh. Shama, you brought yourself to me after hurting my sister. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, um, actually, 
it's not really like that. Um, since the last incident that she thought happened, Jim here never agreed to talk to me. So I I hid her bag yesterday in my car so I could get her attention. I was framed. Yeah. Uh, and I have enough proof. But she wouldn't give me a chance. Go ahead. Explain yourself to all of us. Okay, um... First, I... I never liked Folake. I consider her an acquaintance. So then she told me to meet up with her in some restaurant to meet a client. Excitedly, I went and that was when she took all those pictures and started spreading those rumors. But I have a backup chat that I will never do so, such thing to her. Jemima, ever since I met you, I have never imagined living my life without you. It's been miserable for me now. I'm sorry. Okay. Case settled. Hmm? Yeah. So I think it's time for me to get my things and be on my way since we are free now. Thank you for coming to our rescue. It was nice to meet you. Stop sweating. Mm -hmm. My keys. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why did you hide my bag? See? Hope you didn't steal anything from inside. Mm -hmm. I'm never. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Let's go. I thought it was supposed to be three days. I thought you'd be excited to never see me again. Maybe initially, when I first woke up. So, um, what changed? Everything. So you think you like me now? It was at first sight. But, denial came along. So you are sexually attracted to me? Helplessly. So, um... So, how about one more night? Except, you don't like me to. <laughs> Zoe, come on, don't, don't be like that. Be like what? Like, like that. Like a jerk? Like you? I thought I already... Okay. I'm sorry, and I apologize about my behavior. Okay, I'll stay. You will? Yeah. How does Netflix and chill sound? Yeah, that sounds all right. Still trying to be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go out with me on an actual date? Are you properly asking without flowers? I have leaves. And we do, to be precise. <laughs> <laughs> if that's okay with you. Give me time and place, I'll pull up. You like Wahala? That would have sounded better if it came from a less problematic person. 
I'm not problematic. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are beautiful, Zoe. Thank you. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to feel. Can you look into my eyes and tell me what is on my mind? If you have no answer to respond to me, oh, oh, you cannot judge me now. I'm not problematic. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> So should we go back to Jemima? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I don't have to pack anymore. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank me, thank me, thank me. I left the trip and I brought the keys. See? And that's why you had to knock. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. Why were you still knocking? <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Just play again. I won. Yeah. Mm -hmm.